Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Uh, hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm perfect. Perfect. Yes. Nice yes. <laughs> I feel perfect. I am perfect, and I'm looking for a perfect husband. Good idea. But but what makes you perfect in your point of view? <sighs> well, um, let's count together. I am beautiful. Uh, beautiness is a taste. So I don't I don't look beautiful for you. For for general opinion, I guess you're pretty. Yes. But I am sure not everybody on earth call you beautiful. What about you? Would you call me beautiful? If I just see your face, yes. What else do you have to see <laughs> so you can create a full picture, a full opinion of my beautiness? I already saw something what I kind of dislike. It's not your body, it's on your body. It's on my body. Yeah. I also don't don't like my kidneys, to be honest. <laughs> They like uh, every time I try to like tr drink a little bit of beer, they really act strangely. So I, I really don't like my kidneys. Are you talking about what, what are you talking about? Your fingernails. My fingernail? This one? <laughs> All of them. I guess you have artificial ones or whatever ones uh, on all of your fingers oh so you don't like artificial like fake nails no you don't like anything fake kind of yes okay let me change my appearance <laughs> <laughs> no, no just, it's real. just just to tell you what what's life all right so okay let's keep that beautiness i see it's like 50 50 to you i can cook but but i'm i'm sure and like i said you're in general a very beautiful sexy young lady no nice. problem yeah. I, I i really appreciate it i guess this is what perfect wife should look like it's the first thing so i can cook good yeah and uh i can be silent very good talent <laughs> really you see that it's like i can really shut my mouth when i need to shut it you know so i i, I, I know I my i know my limits mm -hmm. good and um and yeah and i think um what else what else i need to have i need to be I, to I, be I, perfect I, for you i have a question you of course you entered entered the the speech with uh, I search for a perfect guy, a perfect husband. Oh, you're searching for perfect husband. No, I, not me. You said this. Yes. Yes. And, and, uh, I, I'm impressed that you keep talking to me when I, uh, uh, told you my opinion, for example, about fingernails. Right. Uh, it's okay. I like this going on like uh it's not blocking or pushing away everybody who has another opinion yeah of course i mean like that's fine for me if you're gonna become my husband i can change it like i can take them those off like but, but, with my but, real but, nails you know? yeah but <laughs> but is it the good way of living together to change for the other Part for the partner or is it better to search for a perfect partner which is already having this kind of attitude like don't like fake nails because i think you like them and use them because no, you like no i actually don't like them my my Ooh. my ex boyfriend liked fake nails and we've been together for like two years and um, we broke up and um, I'm still doing fake nails. So, you uh, but broke, I really don't like them. You broke up recently? Like five months ago. Okay. And then 
since five months you need to do something with fake nades i guess i'm not sure but you get got used to it and that's why you still use it yeah i mean that's what you said that we change for each other right so if you are in the relationship you change for another person sometimes not everybody do it and not everybody and uh, not every change is good i think but i think uh, if your partner is changing in the side that you'd like to see your partner it, it's a good thing like if you want me to i don't know um what do you want me <laughs> to do if if, if uh, i have no tattoos and mm -hmm. i don't have tattoos and if you are for example Yes. Uh, or a lady who likes tattoos on guys and ask me, oh, can you do a tattoo for me? Is this one or that one? Well, or at that position and and I would do it. I would be unhappy with that. I, I might do it. I don't think so. But if I do it, I would be unhappy. And th that's my point. I, I don't think every every uh, doing for the partner is, is uh, good. Oh, so you're not married then, right? No more. <laughs> oh, no more. <laughs> what about what 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 was wrong with your wife? So you broke up. Uh, she broke up. She broke up with you. How? Why? You seem like a good good guy. Why she broke up with you? Because maybe I'm too too crazy about things like this. About nails. <laughs> No, she she didn't have fake nails, but in, in the end, she she tried to piss me off with stuff like that, like doing doing fake eyelashes, eyelashes, uh -huh. fake eyelashes. But just to to make me more uh, that all. So and then you like, like, no, fuck off, no, bitch. No, no, I I no. never, I never hurt her. Uh, I never hurt her in the way of beating or whatever i i hurt her emotionally oh you hurt her emotionally i i think if not there would no reason to be uh to to break up or so how do what do you mean hurt hurt emotionally like how can you hurt emotionally you can hurt only physically like but emotionally you said something bad to her or oh, acting bad Okay, like, like, how exactly? I, I want to know if it's okay for me. Uh, I'm, I'm not good with describing this stuff because I'm not good with emotions. That, that was another point uh, of her uh, criticizing me. Like, I, I need to get along better with emotions and uh, uh, think about my own emotions and uh, be aware of them. That calls, I guess, emotional abuser nowadays, right? I didn't get it. Can you repeat? That, that's how we call it, emotional abuser nowadays, right? Maybe it's called that the way, yeah. Yeah, I think so. 